welcome children to geography with juliana and we are studying chapter 4 climate and this is a fifth video for climate after studying the climatic map of brazil and the graphs for four cities in brazil that is manaus bailey porto alegre and here de janeiro we are, we are able now to understand the climate of brazil in a better way Okay so when we talk about the climate of Brazil we need to understand that because of the vast latitudinal expanse of Brazil what do i mean by that the brazil uh, the brazilian uh, country extends from 5 degrees north up till 34 degrees south so there is a huge latitudinal extent or expanse of brazil as a result brazil has variety of climate Okay let's understand what we mean by variety of climate we also know the northern part of brazil has equator passing and the southern part of brazil has tropic of capricorn passing through it and therefore when we talk about temperature i'll divide it into temperature cyclones and rainfall okay so when we talk about the temperature of brazil the northern part of brazil and this entire region in fact comes under the tropical zone okay this part comes under equatorial zone okay 5 degrees north to 5 degrees south this much part comes under equatorial zone now at the equatorial zone for example in manaus okay the temperatures are very very high the average temperatures are are, are around 22 to 25 degrees celsius but when we studied manaus okay which is very close to the amazon river so in this area here the temperature was quite high almost 33 degrees celsius as we go to the south okay beyond the tropic of capricorn we find that the temperatures here are much much lower and uh, if you remember here de janeiro as well as porto alegre okay here the temperatures the uh, temperatures in the graph were around 30 degrees okay but that's uh, on the average it will be around 25 to 26 degrees celsius so uh, we and we know that the northern region because it's very close to the equator the sun rays are perpendicular and as a result they uh, have very high temperatures okay southern part comes under temperate zone as we go away from equator the sun rays are slanting and therefore these region regions have very low rainfall there is a give reason here near the equator at the brazilian coast temperature uh, uh, tropical cyclones rarely visit okay now what is the reason why there are hardly any cyclones in this coastal region of brazil india on the contrary has many tropical cyclones almost every year during summer for example in bay of bengal recently this year 2020 we have had cyclone amphan okay and immediately after that we had another cyclone also in the arabian sea okay so cyclones are common in india but in brazil cyclones rarely visit this region what could be the reason for it okay near the equator first of all because being in the equatorial region the temperature difference is negligible there's hardly any and especially this coastal region here we had studied bailey okay they have equable climate that means there is hardly any difference in climate and temperature variations the second reason is the the winds here move vertically upwards as the land gets heated up okay because of the high temperature the air gets cooler and the winds move vertically upward and the third reason why cyclones do not visit here first is equable climate second the vertical currents of uh, air and third reason is because this region okay uh, the convergence zone here is very very weak if you remember i had asked you to remember convergence zone that's the region where the north east and south east trade winds converge near the equator in the low pressure area in this much area so that's the reason because the convergence zone here is weak normally what causes cyclones are converging winds when the hot and cold winds converge but in this case the convergence zone is very very weak and therefore cyclones rarely visit the coast of brazil it's an important give reason okay then the so that's about the temperature then we'll talk now about the rainfall 
this i'm sure you know by now okay when we uh, let me take you to another picture here okay now rainfall when we talk about rainfall in brazil the northern part okay oh the northern part this region of brazil receives very heavy rainfall almost 2000 mm of rainfall in the amazon river what could be the reason yes this region comes under equatorial region and because the sun rays are perpendicular here there is lot of evaporation of water every day and this sets up the air gets uh, warmer it gets lighter and it moves upwards setting up the what is called as convectional currents okay and as these convectional currents move they give rainfall to this region every day okay so uh, this region receives convectional type of rainfall almost every day every graph that we studied whether it was manaus whether it was bailey we have seen that there is rainfall throughout the year okay and what about this south eastern the south southern and south uh, eastern coast here okay this is another region where the rainfall is very high the reason is we had studied this in detail already when we studied about physiography because of the location of these great escarpments here they are up, they obstruct the south east trade winds and they give rainfall on the su southern and southeastern slopes and as they cross the equator this this is also a short note about drought quadrilateral which we have studied with in physiography chapter as well so as these winds descend and move towards the northern slopes and as they go towards north eastern side they become dry and they form a rain shadow area called as drought quadrilateral here okay so here you can find the drought quadrilateral as well this region which receives very very low rainfall okay so i had another picture to show yes here the drought quadrilateral in the northeastern coast this and also now we have studied this region receives very heavy rainfall this region also receives heavy rainfall this comes on the drought quadrilateral what about the north uh, this eastern coast sorry what about the north eastern coast of brazil this region receives almost 1000 to 1200 mm of rainfall from the northeast trade winds okay so with this we end the short note on drought quadrilateral rainfall now one thing what you also have to remember which i forgot to mention what about the highlands what is the temperature like on the highlands highlands being at a high altitude okay because of their height and because of the proximity to the atlantic ocean the highlands have cool climate okay so with this we end the climate of brazil in the next video we'll study about the graphs of india till then